Wait, that's a big one. That's a freaking tank. Oh my God, Cody, I got a nine pounder. What's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. Listen, if you're new to the channel, if you could, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and if you guys wanna support your boy, this helps out more than you guys know, hit the like button, leave a comment down below on what you guys have been thinking about the recent videos. Today we're gonna be kayak fishing, hopping out on a lake that I haven't been to before, and I think we're gonna smack them. I think it's gonna be good. It's a beautiful day outside, wearing short sleeves, and the sun is heating everything up. The weather's been nice the last few days and it just feels good to have some good weather. You know, it's been cold or it's been rainy or the weather's just been weird the last few months and it just feels good to get outside in the heat and uh, do some fishing. So we got the truck parked right here. We actually have the kayak trailer behind it. We actually fit a kayak right here, a kayak right here, and we can also fit two on top. So we can tow four kayaks on the back of this thing. If you guys wanna see a specific video on this and us go into more places with the kayaks, let me know in the comment section down below. So we have old Alan Bob's kayak. If you guys are wondering where Alan Bob's been, he's gonna be coming back on the channel within the next few weeks. Got my boy Cody with me today. This is actually his spot. Tell him, tell him a little bit about it, Cody. There's uh. There's some big fish in here. I've caught everything from a dink up to a nine pounder, and I think we're gonna get on him today out here. I think it's gonna happen. He's caught some big fish in here. He showed me some pictures, and I'm like, man, I'm just pumped about it. I think we can make it happen. We actually threw a few casts before we even got the kayaks off the trailer, and I had a fish on, so that, that felt good. Just knowing that there's fish in here, knowing that they're gonna bite. And there was a full moon last night, so the fishing might be a little bit slower than it should be today, but I think it's gonna be good. Got my old bonafide kayak right here. And one thing I noticed today, guys, it's been like, the weather's been nice the last few days. Look at all the pollen. It's ridiculous. I've been sneezing here and there, on and off today. But I am not looking forward to that, to be honest. I'm bringing three rods out with me today. We got a Custom Pro, we got a Pro TI, and a Mock Crush. Mock Crush has a Thunder Cricket on there, which is pretty much a Chatter Donk. Then we got a Fluke on the Pro TI. Then on this one, we have a little Texas rig with the Rage Crawl. And I think that's gonna be put to work today and catching some good ones. So we're gonna go ahead and hop on the water. I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna try to catch some big fish. Let's make it happen today, guys. Goal is a fish over five pounds. I think we can make it work. I'm terrified. Like a pro. Like a pro. Oh. I think that's what we're gonna do. We have a slight bit of wind today. It was bluebird skies earlier, but some clouds just came out. So we have all this wind pushing on this side of the lake, hidden in this pocket. This whole bank right here has a bunch of wind going into it. So I think we're gonna start off here. I think it could be a good spot. Throw that Texas rig a little bit, throw a few moving baits, whether it's a chatter bait or a lipless crankbait. And just see what we can do you know cody's been out here a few times but i've never been out here so i'm just gonna experiment cast around in the hopes that we're gonna catch a five plus pounder so we have a chatter donk on and i'm really debating like should i put a lipless crank on or should i just stick to the chatter this is like a very tough decision for me because I love a lipless and I love a chatter. Like, should I just start off with this and then that's what we'll do. Since we already have it tied on, we'll start off with this. If you guys know, like I like starting off with moving baits covering a lot of water and then switching to the slow moving baits after a little bit. I'm gonna get down out of this pocket a little bit. And get, get this show on the road. Now that these clouds are coming up a bit, these fish might start roaming. Yeah. You know, earlier they were more tucked to that cover just because of the sun and tucked to the bottom a little bit more.
like some scattered laydowns right here. It seems like there would be a fish on this Texas rig that we could catch. Oh my god. Dude, that's a big one. That's a freaking tank. This is a big one. Oh my gosh, I got a freaking tote. This is like five pounder. Oh God, this is, oh my God, he's bigger than that. Oh my God, Cody, I got a nine pounder. Cody, I got a freaking nine pounder, dude. Oh my God, he might be bigger than that. Cody, I got a freaking nine pounder. This is the biggest fish I've caught in a year. Oh my God. Cody, he's so big, dude. I'm talking like massive. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cody, where did you take me, dude? We've only been fishing for 30 minutes. Cody just took me to the land of the giants, dude. Look at this. Cody, what in the world, dog? I don't know how big that fish is, but he's freaking huge. <laughs> so this is one of the biggest fish I've caught in like a year. That's, how big is that? That's about eight. eight it looks like an eight pounder. That's a trophy. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, that's a freaking toad. Dude, when I hooked him, I was like, I got a five. And I was like, oh no, that's a lot bigger than five. We've been fishing for not even 30 minutes. Uh, and uh, my first bite's like a freaking eight pounder, dude. What? He was on that crawl, that rage crawl. Freaking moose. That's a moose and a half right there, baby. Guys, look at that mega right there. That is a freaking toad. And you know what sucks? Cody had a scale, but we took my truck and so we left it today. So we actually don't have it, but you guys drop your comments down below. How big do you think that fish is? I believe that's a trophy, which by trophy, I, I believe that's an eight pounder. I don't know. What would you say? I'd say that's about eight, dude. Eight and a half. That is a big one. <laughs> that's a big fish, dude. I just can't believe it. I was like, man, I have a five pounder and sure enough, dude, that fish is way bigger than five. That's a, that's a mega. Well, guys, we're going to get a picture too. My arms are wearing out. It's hard in these kayaks with this wind, but I'm gonna get a quick picture and get this baby back in the water, let her swim another day. But to start off, first fish today, like an eight pounder, are you kidding me? Cody, you're the man, dude. Came out to Cody's little place, catching some hogs. Look at that mammoth. We gotta get her back in the water and start fishing again. I cannot believe that. I'm, I'm really mad that we don't have a scale, but guys, that's, Cody, come on now. You're witnessing it firsthand. That's an eight pounder. I think so, man. I think, I think that's an eight. I mean, it's so funny because I was like, Cody, I got a five pounder. Next thing you know, I'm like, Cody, I got a nine pounder. <laughs> Gain twice the size. Let's let this baby swim off. Take good care of these fish. Look at the back on that thing, dude. I think there's another one to be caught, dude. That was on the rage crawl. That is a freaking beast. Give her a second. She's about to take off. She's tightening down. That's all her right there. We came out here. He was like, man, there's some good ones in here. I've caught a few good ones. First fish is a dang trophy. Are you kidding me? I was throwing my chatterbait along this bank, just trying to get a reaction bite. And I just talked to the camera. I was like, you know what? There's a few like standing, like stumps out here. Picked up that rage crawl. Pew! Big one. Very interesting. I smacked you upside the face with that fish. <laughs> Little tiny guy. I watched him come out and just eat it. That was the weirdest catch in a very long time. That other fish could literally eat him like a Snickers bar. Literally. The 
a bunch of bait fish right there. Keeps flickering. That's it right there. Yep, look at that. It's definitely gonna be a fish that eats me right here. Should be. Yep. Little tiny guy. Right when I killed it. That's the thing with the flute, guys, you gotta pay attention to. You can be popping it a little bit too much and then you just kill the fluke and they usually eat it. Did it again. There it is. Nice. You guys saw what I did there. Twitch it three times hard, killed the fluke, boom. Little tiny guy, nothing big. Not a big one, but you know what? It is what it is. I already caught my big one for today. We're looking for another one, but I don't mind catching those still. That's a decent one. Next cast. I don't know, it's not. It's about a pound. So fat. Oh, oh dude, that was a huge carp. That thing was like four foot long. That scared me. <laughs> that was terrifying, dude. I saw his whole body. I wonder if the GoPro saw it. Got another guy. Next cast on the flute. Sorry about the noise in the background, but there we go. Bait fish popping in this pocket. Throw you a little fluke. Imitate the bait fish. That's what gets you. Nice, Cody. Cody's on board. Is it biggin'? One pounder. Nice. Here we go. Breaking the PB twice in one day. Oh my God, he actually ate it. Oh. He's running it. <laughs> I don't know if he's small or what that, that was about. That was weird. See if he'll eat it again. That was a freaking toad, Cody. Yeah, that felt, his head shake was the same way as that big one. I just threw right in the middle of it. He had it right away. It was probably more fit. Dude, what in the world? That's weird. There's a lot of fish up there. That's actually insane. It hit me like, I can't, I don't even have time to hop the bait. Got that like, God, dog, I'm freaking out. Toss this fluke up there. There's a lot of fish right there. Got some moving water right in front of that pipe. Oh my God, he hit it. Hit it out of the water. He was running at me at it so fast, dude. I can't keep up to him. That's how many fish are right there, bro. That fish like hit it out of the water. I don't know, they must be really small. But it, like every cast I've thrown up there, I've had a bite. Oh, that's money. Oh, dude. What in the world is going on? The way that they're hitting this is unbelievable. It's been every cast. I probably made 10 casts, had 10 bites. I'm just going to keep on making the cast till they quit biting, but. Dude, like, how do you hit it like that? How do you hit it that hard? <laughs> Dude, like it's vibrating my... Dude, literally, I'm, I'm 0 and 15 right here. I know making it up too. I wish you guys could feel my rod, how they're biting it. Like right there, he just had it, spit it out. I've never seen so many fish in one little spot. Got him that time. That's exactly what's biting me. Came off. All right, I'm done playing with those little tiny things. Oh my God. Oh, he's not big. You know what? That might be the man. There's no way they're on bed. 
He went to another pond that was kind of close to here. There is a huge one that swam off the bank before this one. Look how fat that thing is. Huge one that swam off the bank. That kind of scared me. I thought it went back up there and that was him. Well, we just got off the water and let me tell you, what a day. I had a blast. It was a good time. First fish of the day was a freaking trophy. More importantly, it was my PB on the kayak, which is just awesome because my PB before on the kayak was probably about four pounds. And that one was about double the size. So I'm pumped about that. Sadly, we didn't catch any other fish that were really worth talking about, to be honest with you. I don't think I even broke a pound on any of the other fish that I caught, which when I was talking to Cody about coming out here, he told me, he's like, there's big ones in here, but there's also a lot of small ones. So it's just kind of funny how it laid out. You know, the first fish of the day was the giant. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you guys enjoyed this video, more importantly, hit the like button. That really helps out with the algorithm. And I greatly appreciate it. If you guys want to support me in any way, just hit that like button. But thank you guys so much for the support. If you want to see more kayak videos, drop some comments down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.